What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Aaron Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. Today's adventure going to Edison, New Jersey to Supercharged Entertainment. This is the world's largest indoor multi level car track. I've been looking forward to going to this place ever since it opened up on December 19th of 2022. It's got multi levels, and there's two tracks. <coughs> All right, so the way this works, you gotta have DOG or DOC helmets. So not these, you need a, basically a motorcycle helmet. So if you're gonna bring a helmet, get a motorcycle helmet, not one of these. They don't have any to rent or any that you can use that have GoPro mounts on it. So you can't do that. You can do a chest mount with an action camera. Um, so that means I'm gonna have to go with the other camera. Also, they basically do put you in, in these heats. So you, it's not like you can just buy three tickets and then go whenever you want. So they kind of like want you to one, two, three, if you buy three races. So it's not like you can do a race, take a little time, chill, eat, and then go back and do a race. It's, it's like you, you got an appointment for a race. I'm not really with that too much because I don't like being rushed. I want to be like relax, race, check out my numbers, see how I did, you know, so I don't like that, that part of it. Each track, you race with other drivers on the track at the same time and you go against times. So it's a timed race. Each race lasts about seven minutes and it's about $30 a race. Or they have packages where you can get three races for $78. Now track one, the length is 1,600 feet and it's got five left turns and eight right turns. Track two is 1,781 feet and it has eight left turns and four right turns. Lockers are free. I'm gonna do two different races. I get like a 20 minute break in between races. Let's get it. So, my first impression of supercharged go-karts. Fun, it was fun. I did track two. So it has some elevation, some dips, and it goes around. The thing is, you're racing against yourself, but there's other people on the track. What had happened was somebody caught up to me and they gave me a little nudge and I was like, oh, I need to go faster, right? Or get out the way. So that's the way it goes. If you think you can go faster, go faster. If you think you can't, move over to the side. There's a turbo button that you can hit. I hit it maybe twice. I tell you the truth, I was a little scared because uh, the cars do get up, they're electric, so it, the speed is monitored and they control the speed. Somebody spun out in front of me and I, I, when I went to stop, I slid out. They slowed down everybody and I backed it up and started going forward again. So whenever that happens somewhere on the track, they will control the speed and everybody slows down. So it's pretty safe. It's safe like that. You get the neck brace. It's a motorcycle helmet that you have to use. There's no mirror, so if somebody's behind you, you really don't know they're there until, you know, maybe they bump you or something. But the things, they really like, I was hitting some of them corners. I tell you, I, I was like hitting a drifting thing. Like there's no e-brake, but there's a pedal brake, but the cars kind of slide to the side. So it was mad fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. I got a race on the other track, and then I'll be doing a comparison. At this place, they got the axe throne. The axe throne set up like a bowling alley. They got these digital boards up and everything. They got a spin kind of drop ride or whatever, whatever that is. Right next door to this place is a Top Golf, which is like a driving range. They got the three tears in the field and it goes out with the, the net. They're putting the I, I fly over here, which is the indoor skydiving. I've done that. I'm gonna get ready to do this second race, catch my breath get hydrated, and get ready to go at it again. So that was second race on track one. What I will say about that, that race and that track, that track 
is physically demanding. That is a very physically demanding track. It's a lot of turns. Um, you get a couple of like, this is this one turn. I think it's like maybe let's call it turn number one. It's banked. So it's up high. So you're turning and coming down. Personally, I like that one. That one, I felt like I was really in for the drive. For, there were points where I could see, I, I, I kind of waited my time and then I could cut in front of somebody, hit the boost. It felt like everything was clicking on that one. That one felt like a real like race experience. Track two, I would say start with that one. You get used to the, the car, there's a couple straightaways. It's a nice kind of chill one. So if you don't want to go all in, you can go on track two. But track one is all in. Um, there were like spin outs. There were like people just, and you're not supposed to bump into each other. Sometimes you, you want to get past somebody and somebody, yeah, it was just getting, it was madness in there. It got so crazy, I lost my cab. I had, I had my uh, action too. I was like, you know what, let's go for it, right? I, I wore it up here and one crash, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it right here. I popped my ibuprofen just to make sure because uh, yeah, that's why they have you sign the waiver because it gets in there. That track is very physical, not only the other racers, but the track itself. And the key, I would say the key is finding your moment and then taking it. Don't try to push the moment too early. Too many people, they got they got in there and they were trying to hurry up and rush in there and get 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 the position and it just got turned into madness. So I waited for that and then when I saw my time, I struck, it was live. So I, I got one more race to do. I'm gonna make this third race on, on track two, the nice and chill one, but it's a great experience. It was $81 and I get three races. Supercharged, I had a lot of fun. So I had a really good time at Supercharge, and it's more than just the go-karts. They have two levels of an arcade. They have like a tower drop thing. They got some bumper cars and a restaurant. Also, they have axe throwing, which is high tech. It's a digital readout and there's all different types of games. So there's more than just the go-karts there. It's a whole entertainment complex. I had a lot of fun. Looking forward to checking out the one up in Massachusetts. Have you been to one of these supercharged? Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on the social and hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel a lot because I lost a camera on this adventure. So I had to get a new camera. But until next time, remember, take care of each other. Peace out, and I will see you all soon.